Hello Scorpio. This is Renee and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Uh, Scorpio, this is going to be a reading about your next big romance. Who is your next big romance? We're going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio. Then we're going to take a look at your person's energy. Um, we're going to get some characteristics about your person. And then we're going to see where this love connection is going. And then we'll get some advice. If this sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned. And if this resonates, please like and subscribe. And hit that bell. And if it doesn't resonate, Scorpio, uh, make sure to take a look at your moon and rising sign if you know that. Um, I have, this is the last one, so I have all of them uploaded now. Um, so yeah, take a look at your moon or rising sign and uh, it, if this doesn't resonate, it'll give you more clarity. Okay, let's get into this. Scorpio. Who is Scorpio's next big romance? Spirit, tell me about Scorpio's energy right now. How is Scorpio's energy? What's going on with Scorpio? We have... Be bold. Don't be afraid to stand out. You don't be afraid to be unique, Scorpio. There's nobody like you. You are a unique soul. You're very, you know, you're your own unicorn, Scorpio. You know, there's nobody like you. Be bold and show your uniqueness. Stand out from the crowd, you know. Tell me about Scorpio's energy, spirits. Okay, we have two of them. Star Brothers. Honorous energy, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. So you have safety and trust in spirits. Let's see, Star Family. You're part of a team of souls. Call in support. Yeah, definitely. You're... you're your angels, your spirits that are surrounding you want to know that you are being fully supported. They support you, Scorpio. You're being supported in your situation. Um, you may have been through a lot, you know, and they're letting you know that you have protection, you have safety. They want you to call on them for answers. Uh, call when you are in need, you know. They want to provide you some kind of guidance through whatever it is you're going through in life. Tell me about this person that's coming into Scorpio's life. Who is this next big romance? Tell me about their energy. Learning experience. So definitely, this person may have went through a few things as well. And I feel like they're, they may be going through a growing cycle. You know? They're, they're learning how strong they are. Yeah, that gives me like I'm feeling like hermit vibes from that card. I'm feeling like this person is gaining wisdom. They're trying to figure out why certain things are happening in their life. They're trying to find the answers. And I feel like you may be doing the same thing, Scorpio. So I feel like you're kind of mirroring each other. Tell me about this person's energy, spirit. Tell me about this person coming into Scorpio's life. Tell me about their energy. It's up to you. Yeah, so I feel like this person... They're kind of leaving this interaction up to you. Whether you pursue it or not. They're leaving you with the... With the way in, you know. And if you believe. So, I'm, I'm really getting that this person... 
is trying very hard to find a good perspective. They're trying to change their thought process. They're trying to gain a new perspective. They're, you know, looking for answers. I'm not sure if they're if they've really found the answers, but I, I feel like they're looking for answers. They and they feel like if they only believe, you know, things will happen this way or things will happen that way. They're trying to have a positive outlook. At least they're trying to have a positive outlook. I'll say that. Tell me about how cancer feels about love. Tell me about how cancer would feel about this love connection. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So this person may be someone that you don't have contact with. This may be someone who lives out of town, someone who's kind of long distance. And we also have, beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So you may be really mirroring this person Scorpio, this person may be a reflection of yourself, of your characteristics. So I feel like you're really seeing this person's flaws because you're actually seeing the same flaws in yourself. Very interesting. Okay, tell me about this person, Spirit. Tell me about this person coming into Scorpio's life. Tell me about this person. Let's see, I'm feeling this one. Emotions are natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yeah, so this person is really trying to find their way. And like I said, I feel like this person has been through a few things, so they may be holding on to past hurt, past emotions, you know, that they were left with. They haven't worked through those yet. Um, and I feel like they may need to work through those. We have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is new available to you, is now available to you. Follow it with faith. If you believe, have faith. Definitely, definitely. So there's a lot of energy that you and this person need to let go of, need to remove from your life. You know, I feel like you and this person are both healing. You're both trying to find something better in life. You're both trying to find that one who will make you feel you know, alive, have that new perspective, just be happy. And I feel like you're both looking for that. You're really looking for the same things, you know. Um, tell me some more characteristics about this person for Scorpio. Tell me about this person. Tell me some more characteristics about this person. Spirit, tell me about this person. What is this person like? The King of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, this person is looking for honesty. They're looking for someone to trust. And I feel like you're doing the same thing. This person can also um, be very practical. I feel like this person may also have a good job, but I feel like this person is very resourceful. They know how to figure out financial matters, you know. Um, tell me more about this person. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, they're still going through it. This hasn't ended yet. Their pain hasn't ended. They're still going through it. Tell 
tell me more about this person. We have the Page of Wands. But I feel like this person is anticipating a new beginning, you know, a new perspective. They're trying to create something that brings them more happiness. They're trying very hard to create it, you know. I feel like they're trying to be happy even though they're sad, that kind of situation. They're trying to wear a smile even though down inside they're like weeping or crying. Yeah, they're definitely really thriving on finding that new love. Finding that new beginning. Someone who would really care. Who would really have passion for this person. Um, I feel like this person is really hoping for love to come and sweep them off their feet. Someone who will kind of save them from their emotions. That's what I'm feeling about this person. They want to be saved from their emotions. They're, they're really looking for new love. They're feeling hopeful. Definitely. The fool. They're feeling hopeful. They're hopeful for this new journey. They're hopeful for a new beginning. They're, they're ready to take that plunge into um, a new, discovering something new in their life. They're ready for that, taking that risk of love, you know? Yeah, the tower. Okay. I definitely feel like this tower moment for this person is very fresh. Um, but I feel like these are changes that this person is voluntarily creating you know this this may be something that happened to them but I feel like this person is making changes that will put them more on stable ground you know because the tower moment this tower is crumbling because something isn't stable something isn't working so this is just the universe your spirit guides letting you know that you need a new direction this is not the path that you should follow. You should follow this new direction. Um, so I definitely feel like this person is voluntarily making moves or making changes. It could be that this person is leaving some kind of toxic relationship or toxic situ situation. Um, but... Now I'm going to tell you that's just speculation. That's just my intuition talking because I'm not seeing that in the cards. Um, but I'm feeling like it's some kind of toxic situation. But they're definitely looking for changes in love. They're definitely open for you to come in. Scorpio. This person is open to love again. Actually, they're hopeful to love again. They have a lot of hope. And I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of communication. I feel like, you know, with this Eight of Wands being upside down, I feel like this person is going to be closed off at first. They may not, they, they may actually be a little bit fearful to talk or fearful to communicate how they feel about a situation they may have closed themselves up for a very long time they may have had to hide their feelings but I feel like this person wants to say so many things that they just don't know how to say they just can't find the words you know um, I feel like those words will come with time definitely those words will come with time this person is going to make a choice to open up to you, to speak to you, to feel safe. Um, with you, definitely. They're definitely making moves. I feel like at one point they were in kind of a stuck energy, but they're 
they're trying to move through those feelings. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. They have a lot of pain, a lot of doubt. Um, I feel like... I feel like they're mourning in a sense, you know? But I feel like... They're willing to take a risk. They're trying to move away from the doubt. The Eight of Pentacles. They're, this person is trying to find the quality of life. They're trying to find something that makes them feel satisfied, that makes them feel alive. I feel like this person is looking for... First of all, I feel like they're looking for healing. I definitely feel like they're looking for healing. I also feel like they're they're looking for a new beginning in life, a new beginning in love, just a new beginning altogether. I feel like this person has been let down. They've kind of been beat down by life. And I feel like you may be the same way, Scorpio. I mean, I feel like you're kind of mirroring this person. So as much as this energy can be this person's energy, I feel like a lot of this energy may also be yours. But I feel like this person feels very defeated. Tell me more about this person. The Three of Wands. But this person has a lot of hope. They haven't given up. They're, they're looking for growth. They're looking to expand, to grow, to thrive. They're definitely looking for something better. Look at all that blue sky. All them clouds. It's like the clouds are in motion, you know. They're not puffy clouds. They're not just sitting still. Those clouds are in motion. I feel like this person is expanding. This person is growing. They're looking for something better. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. They're looking for their dreams to come true. Look at this. We have the Nine and Nine. Very interesting. Yeah, so this person is looking for peace. If you look up the angel numbers, 9-9, nine, 9-9 nine, nine, nine actually means, you know, that this person is full of love for others. They're looking for peace. They're looking for understanding, um, for acknowledgement, you know? Um... They're looking for their dreams. They have this vision, Scorpio. And they're, they're waiting for this vision to kind of erupt, to kind of come forward, to uh, come into fruition. And I feel like that's what this Nine of Cups is saying, is that, you know, the, this is this person being very hopeful for the future. This is their... Um, mental health, their good health, their clarity, all being fulfilled. That's what I'm feeling from this Nine of Cups. Tell me more about this person, spirits. Tell me more about this person. The moon. Yeah. I feel like this person is very fearful. 
of secrets being held from them. I feel like they they may have been with someone who was very secretive, someone who, you know, wasn't very clear about a lot of things. Uh, but I also feel like this person is has a lot of trust issues. Um, with the moon, I also feel like this person is having a lot of hope for what's to come. They're definitely very hopeful. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. The devil. Yeah, they're, they're looking to remove whatever blocks are standing in their way. That may be addiction. That may be some kind of toxic energy. Um, and that's what I was feeling up here. I felt like it was some kind of toxic energy that was just really overcoming this person and then this devil came out so it may be some kind of toxic energy some kind of toxic relationship that this person is really trying to change from that they're trying to move away from um but i, I feel like this person is removing anything that's standing in their way they want to remove whatever blocks are blocking them you know they want to thrive feel love you have the queen of cups on the bottom so this person is very hopeful they're very nurturing um despite everything that they've been through they're still very uh healing very supportive um, I feel like this is a good person. I feel like this is someone who actually really, really mirrors you, um, Scorpio. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Tell me more about this person coming into Scorpio's life. Tell me more about this person. Okay, we have Surrender. We have focus on family. So they may have family that they're trying to get their mind off of, you know, they're focusing on their family. I'm ending this to be with you. So they may still be in this relationship when they meet you, Scorpio. I feel like, yeah, okay. They may be ending this to be with you. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. Making you jealous. Hmm. Maybe they're making you jealous with this person. Or seeing you, seeing you with another person is making them jealous. Very interesting energy. Maybe you see them with the toxic person. Tell me what this is about, Scorpio. If, if this resonates, tell me what this is about making you jealous. Tell me what that's about. Let's move slow. Yeah, I feel like you and this person both are setting boundaries so I feel like you're definitely going to move slow on this situation it's not going to be something that's fast moving we have the eight of wands in reverse so it's something that you're both going to move slow on this is not going to be fast moving energy a secret admirer so is this are you a secret admirer of this person Scorpio or are they a secret admirer of you hmm Maybe they're going to contact you if you're on social media. Hmm. Maybe they know you already. I don't know how to pick up the pieces. So they really don't know how to approach you, Scorpio. And I need to be free. I feel like, okay, I feel like this person is definitely hasn't totally ended it with this toxic person. I feel like they're still with this person. They're going to end up ending it. 
with this person to be with you. Um, so they're letting you know, I need to be free first before we can pursue this any further. That's the reason why they want to move slow. That may be what's making you jealous. That may be what that is. Hmm. Very interesting. Tell me a little bit more. I need to know a little bit more. I'm very curious. Revenge sex. So going through this, you're feeling like this person may be using you a bit for revenge sex to make this other person jealous. Hmm. <laughs> this is getting kind of saucy here, Scorpio. Tell me a little bit more. I need to know more. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about this person. Tell me about this connection. Focus on you. Okay, this person is focusing on family and they're focused on you. So it's not just revenge sex. They are focused on you. And we have, I need to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, this person definitely needs to open up. They need to communicate. And I feel like you're kind of hopeful that they will. Um, but I feel like this person can't find the words. This person can't find the words to tell you what they need to. Tell me more about this connection. Tell me about the connection. Spirit, tell me about the connection. What is this connection? A new beginning. This is new fire. New passion. New inspiration. Something is creating something more lively. Bringing new life into the situation. Hmm. Tell me more about this connection, please, Spirit. The Emperor. Okay, so I feel like you and this person together are taking control. You're taking the control back. You're taking back your respect. This person is taking back their respect. You know, they're making plans. They're making a strategy. You may be making a strategy to leave with this person, to move, uh, to escape. You're making a strategy to escape with this person. Hmm. Yeah, the Three of Swords. Okay. So, you know what, um, Scorpio? I feel like something causes this person so much heartbreak. That they feel the need to escape the situation. So you and this person come up with a plan of escape. You and this person um, create this scenario. We have the Five of Swords. You create this scenario in order for this person to escape this abusive, toxic relationship. Maybe you are fighting for this person. Or maybe they're fighting for you. Very interesting, Scorpio. But I feel like someone is fighting over either you or this person. There's going to be some sort of conflict. Hmm. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like... You or this person are setting up boundaries. You know, you're standing firm. You're not letting down. You're not letting down the guard. Okay, yeah, you're definitely a mirror image of this person. This person is just like you. They're mirroring you, Scorpio. Mirroring each other. Self-image, relationships, reflection, 
reflect our wounds, introspection. So you're marrying this person. And we have, for this person, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So yeah, this person has a lot of changes they need to go through. They're having a tower moment. Um, and I feel like that's going to bring a lot of change. They, this person also has, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. So I feel like, yeah, this person is taking it slow. And I feel like definitely turns into love with the lovers here. You may be a friend that this person leans on. You know, while they're trying to get out of this toxic relationship. Uh, you, may be, you may start out as a friend uh, in this situation. But I feel like because you are the shoulder that this person is leaning on. Um, I feel like it definitely moves into love, into you being their, this person's protector, you being this person's knight in shining armor. Now, you can be a male or female. You can still be a knight in shining armor. You know what I mean? You can still be a savior that saves somebody from a situation that they're going through, whether you're female or male. Um, tell me about this connection spirit tell me about this connection give me some advice on this connection girl talk yeah you're definitely going to be spending a lot of time talking to this person that's what i was feeling i feel like you're friends this person is leaning on you and this person is going to be moving on um we have time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Yeah, I, f I feel like that's what you're bringing to this situation. Um, and then it slowly progresses from there. That may also be why we have the Three of Wands. Because it's slowly progressing. It, it's expanding. It's growing. We have the Snake. Competition, enemy, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So, yeah, I definitely feel like this person is in a situation that's very toxic. And you may have to look over your shoulder, Scorpio. Uh, you may have to take caution at first because I feel like this person isn't going to let this person go uh, without a fight. So... Whatever toxic relationship that this person is in, you may have to fight for them if you're willing to do so. Um, tell me more about this relationship. I need more clarity. Keys on a ring. Many options. Decision. Unconventional. String along. One night stand. Okay. So that could go along with the revenge sex that was on there. Mm -hmm. And we have Phoenix. A new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Yeah. I feel like this is a journey, Scorpio. This is a journey. A journey that you're going on of discovery of choices um, I feel like making the right choice actually means so much um, let's see if we can get one more card one more card karmic relationship yeah definitely Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So this person has a lot of resentment that they need to let go of. And I, we also seen that here with this card. Emotions are natural and necessary part of life, but they also destroy, distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yeah, so I feel like this person has a lot of burdens to let go of. They have a lot of pain that they need to release. 
um, you may be the one that they release that and move on with, you know. But this is what I have for you, Scorpio. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any readings. And if this reading does not resonate, please take a look at your moon and rising sign. They may give you more clarity about your situation with the full moon coming up tonight about 6 a.m. or so, 6.07. Um, your rising sign may clarify more for you during times of full moon but you know full moons are times of releasing things that no longer serve you releasing those toxic energies that are in your life so it makes a lot of sense i guess okay scorpio until the next reading many blessings love and light